Hello my fellow intergalactic pioneers and welcome to yet another episode of Gumtrous Gizmos where today we are going to be revisiting a topic that we left off on last video and if you haven't seen that video then you can click up here or down in the description to watch it. But anyway, in the last video we ended off on a question. So let's take a look at that question. Flashback, flashback, flashback. You can't just start playing a HTC Vive game on your PC and then expect everything to work out. So it seems that there are all these obstacles, and as I researched more and more, I just couldn't find a way to play Vive games on your Google Cardboard. Until now. But that will have to wait until the next video, the part two of this virtual reality series. There is, and it is actually a lot easier than you think, but first, let's tackle this question in two parts. The first part is how can you get a game intended for a virtual reality headset like the Oculus Rift or the Vive to play on your device to use in the Google Cardboard? Well, in my last video I demonstrated that there is an app and a free software called Kino VR where you can play any 3D game on your device and it's actually pretty simple, easy, and it is free, but unfortunately it won't let you play any virtual reality game. But if you want to play a game on the Oculus like the Lab or on the Vive like Eve, Valkyrie, then you have to use a different kind of software. And there is an option for that. For Android users, there's something called VR Ridge. And there's a link to the website down in the description below uh, where essentially you can do just that. You can play any virtual reality game with your phone. It just requires a software and an app that you download. And uh, that website is called Riftcat. Again, a link in the description. But now for the big one motion tracking controllers used by the Vive. Uh, the way that the Vive works is that there are cameras set around your room that can track the headset as well as the controllers that you have in your hand. However, you can't really do that on a consumer level budget. In the last video I explained how it is possible you can program a game to have the camera on your phone track these cardboard trackers that you have in your hands, but they're finicky at some times, and besides, you couldn't use that for the Vive because the game isn't programmed to use the phone's camera, it's programmed to use the Vive-like controllers that you already have, so what are your options? Pay $200 for Vive controllers yourself? Eh! No. You don't even need a controller, just use your imagination. No, really, use your imagination. There's a product called Leap Motion which essentially is a camera that can very accurately uh, track where your hands are in space and time. It can allow you to more easily browse the internet, play games, and yes, that does include virtual reality games as well. With this piece of technology, you can use the Leap Motion to simulate your hand movements as if they were Vive controllers, and there is a very detailed uh, article about how you can go through this whole process to play Vive games on your Google Cardboard in the description down below. So it is possible on a consumer level budget, but what if you don't want to just play someone else's video game? What if you want to make a video game yourself? Then you have to worry about getting the software that can be expensive and learning how to code, which is actually a lot easier than you think, and I tell you, you don't have to pay a single penny to make your first video game, but that is something I'll tackle in the next video. Until then. Hush! <laughs>